What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to bring you this video. You guys enjoyed my last one so much that I thought I would make a completely new one for you guys. As you guys know, I used to suffer with hormonal acne and when I was going through that time of my life, I really did a lot of research into ingredients and what ingredients fix your skin. If you didn't watch my last video, I will link it up here. But basically, Mix Nature Cosmetics is a company where you pick a product like you wanna make a cleanser and you tailor make it for your skin type. So you pick the ingredients you wanna put in there. I absolutely loved the products I got last time, but I thought this time I would mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Get it? Mix it up. Mix nature. So I've got four products to show you and I'm going to pick specific ingredients in each of the products that I can just highlight and you might want to include those in your products as well. First off, let's talk about hair care. Last time I got a hair mask and I absolutely loved it. However, I'm really lazy. Like in the shower, I felt like I just used it more as a conditioner and I wouldn't get out of the shower and leave it in as a hair mask. So this time I just went for the conditioner. It's called Balsam. Bowl, balsam. Basically, it's just a conditioner. So you go through and you pick your own base. I picked the one for colored hair because it had argan oil in it. And my issues with my hair is because I color it and because I straighten it, it's really dry and brittle. And also genetically, I just have really dry, brittle hair. So anything to do with hair care, I really focus on hydration and hair loss as well. I do suffer with PCOS, so polycystic ovarian syndrome, and a symptom or I guess repercussion of that is that I do lose hair quite easily. So I want to make sure that my scalp is really nourished and that I'm holding on to as much hair as possible. The products I included in my conditioner was aloe vera, cinnamon, ginseng, ylang ylang, and biokeratin. I don't have oily hair, so I never really have the problem of like having oily hair from conditioners, but I just feel like they don't work. Like I feel like I come out of the shower and it's like knotty and it just doesn't feel smooth. I can honestly tell you that my hair feels so, so silky smooth after using this. And if you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm obsessed with the scent of cinnamon. I only realized this since making my own products and including cinnamon in everything. And oh my gosh, the smell of this. I wish smell -o vision was a thing. It's a joke. I found it to be a really good consistency and what I do is I put it on the tips of my hair pretty much to the roots and then I leave that in while I wash my body or like I shave my legs so I leave it in for around like two to three minutes and then make sure you rinse your hair in like warm water not hot water because I find that it helps close off the follicle and my hair is just so much shinier and smoother when I wash it in cold -er water. Let's move on to one of my favorite topics skincare. So this time I got the liquid soap. I think on the website now it's called face soap, but last time I got the cleansing milk, which was amazing, but that's really gentle and I feel like it didn't get a lot of grime off. So like I used the cleansing milk this morning because I didn't have makeup on last night and I just needed something very simple, but this is more potent. I guess it really gets dirt out of your skin. So I picked the one for normal combination skin because sometimes I have oily skin, sometimes I have dry skin. In my liquid soap, I included pentavetin, rosewood, calendula, ylang ylang, biocollagen, echinacea. Let's just talk about pentavetin for a second. I didn't know much about this ingredient until I went on the website. So I did my research into it and I was like, yes. When I was younger, I was in a pretty brutal gymnastics accident and I had really bad scars over my lips and my face. And my mum made me put pure vitamin E oil on my scars. And as soon as I started doing that, the scars cleared up. However, when I was going through like acne scarring and things like that, I tried to do the same thing and put the vitamin E oil on there, but I found that it was too rich for my skin and it would break me out. It would like clog my pores. So the awesome thing I found out about pentavetin is that it is super, super high in vitamin E. So you are getting that positive element of the vitamin E oils on your skin, but not clogging your pores when using just pure vitamin E oil. So pentavetin is really gonna make your skin look supple and smooth and just moisturized. And even though my skin is really good right now and I'm so, so happy with it, I still have in the back of my mind that I used to suffer with hormonal acne. So I always like to include something in my skincare that is going to combat that. So in this one, it's echinacea. So echinacea is really really good at fighting inflammation and it stimulates your cells to turn over so especially if you've got scarring or you've just like picked your face echinacea is going to be really good at healing the skin next is a shower gel so when making my shower gel I was again focusing on hydration again I picked the one for normal combination skin and I included myrtle pentavetin cinnamon green coffee extract silk protein and sea buckthorn 
In terms of after sun care, green coffee extract is amazing. It's really good at fading pigmentation and just getting your skin looking revitalized again. And one thing that might be like TMI or a bit weird is sea buckthorn because it's an anti-inflammatory. <laughs> and okay, so I spent a lot of my day in tights, like workout tights. And lots of the time I'll go to the gym and then I have to run errands all day. So by the time I get home, it's like, five hours since the gym and then I get to shower. I feel like sometimes my legs get some irritation because they're in sweaty tights all day. Like comment below if you have the same thing, but I feel like the back of my legs, sometimes I get breakouts there, like really weird, irritated breakouts. So sea buck foam is an anti-inflammatory and I included that in my shower gel because that is when I find that I can get rid of those back of the leg rash pimple type things. So what I've been doing is using this and like an exfoliator mitt and I put that on there and I just do round circular motions on the backs of my legs. Number one, I always feel like it tones me up and it's good for stimulating the blood flow and reduction of cellulite and all that kind of thing. But it's definitely helping with the surface of my skin and yeah, the quality of my skin. So I'm loving that. Ending with my absolute favorite product of this haul is my body lotion. Again, picking the normal combo base, I included Biokeratin, Pentavitin, Cinnamon, Dragon's Blood, Silk Protein, and Ginseng. Before we go in depth about this bad boy, let's just talk about the smell. Whatever, yes, it's cinnamon, we love cinnamon, but I covered myself in this the other day and I went out into the lounge room and I was like, Talia, smell me. Talia is my little sister, by the way. And she was like, oh, you smell like a cake. Like it's actually dangerous because I put it on. <laughs> Again, I'm salivating. Why do I always drool in all of my videos? I put it on this morning and I was like, I need to go to the health food store and buy a raw vegan vanilla cake because oh, I think it's the best smelling product I own. And there are other reasons I include cinnamon in all my products as well. I feel like that is the one product that gives me that dewy glow look. I love when you see people and you're like, oh my gosh, you are glowing, like you just look so vibrant. Cinnamon is that ingredient. Biokeratin is the thing that is going to hydrate your skin so it locks in the moisture. And ginseng is really good for skin renewal. So that's like your anti-aging ingredient. It's going to fight wrinkles and anti-aging and just make you look youthful and fabulous. I'm really picky when it comes to the consistency of a body moisturizer. I do love really heavy, thick moisturizers, but sometimes I'm too lazy to like rub them on and I have to like spread them over my body. However, I don't like super thin ones because I feel like lots of the cheap brands are really thin and I don't feel like they do a good enough job of really hydrating my body. This is the perfect balance. It's thick enough, it's really nice and creamy, but it's also thin enough that you can easily spread it over your whole body. Honestly, one of my top five beauty hacks is moisturizing every day. Not only your face, but your entire body. That's probably one of the biggest compliments I get in terms of like my body skin is people say, oh, you have really smooth body skin. Like if I ever get a fake tan, people comment. And I swear it comes down to moisturization. I used to moisturize every single day. I've sort of been out of the habit because I've been so busy, but I'm gonna get back into it because I'm gonna smell like a cake. So I would say the top two ingredients I used in this haul this time was pentavitin and cinnamon. So when you guys are making your own products, I would definitely include them. Cinnamon, amazing smell, and you are gonna have that healthy glow, sun-kissed look about you. And pentavitin is amazing for skin renewal, hydration, and curing any acne scars you've got. You guys know I only like to share products that I'm really passionate about and I genuinely think work. And I use mixed nature stuff every single day. Like I said this morning, I used their cleansing milk and it was mint. I do have a discount code if you want to use that, so I'll put that down here. And after posting my last video, you guys tagged me in all of your photos on Instagram showing me the products that you guys made, and I loved that, so definitely do that again. Tag me in products that you make, especially if you make this. I really hope someone copies my concoction of this and can vouch that you smell like vanilla cake mix. It makes me so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Give it a like if you did because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see what videos I come out with. I will see you guys later. Bye.